What's up, everybody? Okay, so many of you have seen Chateau Houghton, the house tour, but a lot of you are wondering where it is that I am when I'm doing like my nighttime skin routine, my daytime skin routine, makeup tutorials, while well, all that good stuff is done in my glam room. And today I'm gonna show you around. Shout out to Team Me for sponsoring this video. Let's do this. So this is the room that I actually get dressed and ready in every single day. And I love it because I'm a weird person that like when I got married, I still wanted um, that mystery of like, I get ready over here, you get ready over there. I'll meet you by the staircase, babe. Especially for like a date night or just every single day, you guys know that I wake up at the crack of dawn for the reels. Good morning. Get up, guys. I'm sleepy. Also, instead of Waking up my husband, even though he walks down with me, he gets to sleep for like an hour extra while I either do my makeup here, get dressed and ready for the day. But this is what we call the glam room because this is where all the glamming happens. So I'd say that I'd start off my day probably setting the mood, the vibe in the room. Already got my candles going. I've got my diffuser going. I like to start in the morning with a little lemon or something that'll definitely wake me up. I also love grapefruit, fun fact. And that smell definitely wakes you up for essential oils. And then I set the vibe with music. I know you guys know that I actually collect vinyls. It's been my thing forever. And I've got some pretty good tunes in here. Got Miles Davis. This was definitely a gift from Israel. Sketches of Spain. Like what? Okay, the stylistics. This was definitely me, all me. Definitely some of my favorite songs. I actually got this really cute record player from Urban Outfitters. They sell some really cool ones. This one's in here. I actually have a completely different one in my bedroom that you guys have seen. And there's also one downstairs in our formal living room. Moving along now I will head on over to my vanity you guys have seen me here too many times yes I've added a cushion that is good for my back all right so then I'll come over here and I get ready you guys have literally seen me do skincare you might notice that there is a new special edition to my vanity and it is my skincare fridge these are all the rage right now and I'm not gonna lie I'm completely obsessed I actually saw another beauty blogger using them and I was like why don't I have a skincare fridge? For so many multiple reasons. Number one, how freaking cute is this little marble cover? But hello, it actually really serves a major purpose. You guys know that I love a good roller for my face. I actually always keep mine refrigerated, but it was refrigerated before with like my food. Not trying to be gross, but like when you keep your roller with your food, sometimes it actually smells like the food that's in the fridge. So that's the awesome thing about the Teamy skincare fridge is that the only things that are in here are my skincare things, which I'm definitely gonna be adding so much more now that I have it. I definitely wanna do like cucumbers or even like the cucumber eye patches that you can get. Definitely have, ugh. Guys, the skin roller is to die for. You guys know that rollers are so important to your skin for multiple reasons. Number one, they definitely decrease inflammation. I know that so many of us wake up super puffy. Hi, I am that girl. Hi, my name is Adrian, and when I wake up in the morning, I look super puffy, like literally under my eyes. I mean, my lips are even swollen in the morning. So this is definitely a must. This is actually the Rose Quartz. It says, the master healer on it. I love it. You can also get this at Teamy. And, ugh. My new obsession, Vit C, tea infused serum. Now the awesome thing about vitamin C, you guys, so many of us use vitamin C serums because number one, they actually make your skin complexion one color. They're amazing for evening out skin tone. So many of us have dark spots and this is definitely what you want for that. I get sunspots and freckles in the summer, insane. So this is definitely a go-to that I use. The other thing is it actually helps produce more collagen. Oh my God, I wish you guys could understand that it's like super nice and cold. How refreshing this is on the skin. The other awesome thing about the Vite-C Serum is that it's super hydrating. You guys know that I'm always like, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Especially since moving from New York to LA. Guys, it is such dry weather out here that I need all the hydration I can get. The cool thing, you guys, is that you actually can use these two things together. Like literally, if I put this on my neck right now, I can use this to roll it in. 
and that actually helps it penetrate the skin even more, which is incredible. And some of you may be wondering, okay, other than it being cold, why do you keep it in the fridge? Guys, this is all natural and you definitely don't want it to go bad. So how awesome is that? Like the same way that you would keep your food in the fridge, you don't want it to grow bacteria. When you're using all natural products, it's super important to keep it refrigerated because it doesn't go bad. How cute is it again? It's just super cute. Voila. So once I finished my skincare routine, now it's time to get my makeup on. Guys, it is so important to develop a really great skincare routine because that is going to be the first foundation of your makeup routine of getting glam. Like, I think so many of us just think like, oh, I can just cover my face with makeup and that'll make it okay. But it is so important that the skin texture under the makeup looks as amazing as possible because that's what's gonna help your makeup lay beautifully. I know not all of us are gonna have like a full on vanity like this, but for me, it's just super important to have a space that's my own. And I feel like as women, you could either make that your bathroom. It could be like literally the sink and the mirror in your bathroom could be your special place where you just close the door and you're like, I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna get cute. And I think that's really what it's about. It's about finding a little space of your own that you can get cute in. I obviously grew up sharing a room with my sister. So even in that small space, sharing a room with her, you can still absolutely create your own little spot. For me, I had like a floor length mirror that I would set up with like a little pillow for my knees. And that's like where I would set up my makeup to sit. It was right by the window in our bedroom. It had perfect sunlight. And like that for me was my little spot. So even though this is a lot more glamorous than what I originally had, you too can create a little space for yourself and make it as glamorous as you want it to be. This is still a makeup junk drawer that I'm not gonna lie, still comes in handy because there definitely are moments where I have my full caboodle with all my makeup in it. You guys already seen that and how I put that together. But if it's something that I can't find in there or I don't know, sometimes I'll, just because it's here, while I'm doing my makeup, I'll see that like, there's an orange lipstick in here. I wanna now wear an orange lipstick today. Like, I'll find random things in here that somehow end up being used. HD finishing powder, some extra eyeshadow palettes, a roll-on perfume. The possibilities are endless in a good beauty junk drawer. I'm just saying. We've got nipple covers. We've got more sponges. I absolutely use these all of the time to pin my hair back when I'm doing my makeup. So that's what these are. This is a smaller one. Put that one over there. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Yes, yes. I said there was something really random in here that definitely needs to be taken out. Like, I don't know why someone thought this was foundation. This is not foundation, guys. This is definitely shoe polish for my husband's boots. So we're gonna make sure that he gets those, but we will absolutely keep some translucent powders that we've got here. What is this? This is a phone charger. I'm not mad at this. More sponges, more contacts. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am blind as a bat. So I wear contacts. Let's see what my vision is. I have a negative four 0.75, that's really bad. Don't make that face, don't judge me, that's not nice. I have been struggling. I've been wearing glasses since I was in fourth grade. I couldn't see the blackboard. Miss Newland noticed a PS 110. She told my mom, you need to get her eyes checked. The doctor was like, yo, you need bifocals. Like, Also, the reason why I don't wear my glasses very often, I would love to hear this from people who also struggle with their eyesight. Please comment below. I have been wearing contacts since I was 12 years old. A lot of people ask, well, why haven't I had LASIK eye surgery? The reason why is because I did not do a very good job at taking care of my contacts and my eyes when I was 12 and 13 years old when I first started wearing them. So I would sleep with my contacts and I would like cut my cornea. So because I don't have healthy corneas, I can't get LASIK eye surgery. That's why it's so important to take such good care of your eyes, wash your hands, don't sleep with your contacts in. It is, your eyes are so important. So that's why I can't get LASIK eye surgery because I don't have healthy corneas for them to uh, do surgery on. Okay, so I keep contacts in here. This is something that clearly broke and was Israel's. I also do give him quick little haircuts in here. I have dyed hair in here. I have taped breasts in here. No saggy boobs around here. 
Yo, these are my favorite ones though, because these don't leave creases. More fun for the hair clips, okay? You guys clearly see I have a theme going on. Moving right along, that's what's on my vanity. I also keep perfumes. What's in this box? This is a Cartier box with, oh, my diamond earrings and Cartier screwdriver for my Cartier love bracelet. Perfumes, perfumes, perfumes. I actually found a room spray in Target that I love. Bring the good vibes. This is Noir Oud Musk. Wow. Noir Oud Wood and Musk. Made with essential oils. Room spray, makeup stuff, lotion, lip stuff, water bottle. Stay hydrated, people. So now that I'm done by my vanity, got my hair in place. Ray would be so proud. Let's just pretend I did this makeup here. But yeah, that's how it would go down. And then from here, I would move on to getting my underclothes. Not gonna front, I normally stand here as well and I will do body makeup. I will also do lotion and everything kind of happens here. And then I'm like, okay, now it's time to put on my underclothes, which I walk over to these drawers. There's actually some more on that side, but I'm obsessed with the color coordination on this side, depending on what I'm wearing. You know, I love great undergarments and I keep them color coordinated here. There's more on that side as well and underneath. So pick out underclothes from underclothes. I then will pick out what I'm going to wear. Lana will know if I'm going somewhere that's super casual. I will just have like a sweatsuit laying here. The shoes will be picked out or whatever. But if it's like a normal day, then I will pick stuff from my closet or take out a few options the night before. That's just what I like to do. I'll have stuff laid out and then I'll be like, okay, this is what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. And I'll have options and then I'll finally finalize. Like I'm finally finalized. Finally finalize what it is I'm going to wear. Grab what I'm wearing from here. So normally I'll try different things on in this mirror, which you may have noticed there actually isn't a full length mirror in my bedroom or in my bathroom. So literally you guys, this is where I see what I'm gonna look like before I walk out. This might sound kind of crazy, but every time I go on a trip, like going to New York and I'm like gonna be there for a long time, I obviously style myself for every day, but I will take pictures of the fitting I did with Lana, literally just me and Lana packing up my stuff, and then I will send the photos to Grace and Grace will approve that what I've put together is awesome. Sometimes she's actually impressed. Right, Grace? I am, sir. Thoroughly impressed. I'd be putting some bomb outfits together. I'd be inventando different looks. I even took a shirt and cut it up and put it with another shirt. I, oh, I got inventive, okay? Uh, so that's literally what I do here. I will put things together. Like I could have picked something out that I think was gonna be so sick and then I'll try it on and be like, this is hideoso. Like this is so ugly. And then we end up remixing and doing something else. So after I pick out what I'm going to wear, then we move on to shoes. Coming around to ya. All of my shoes that I currently am wearing are laid out here. Now you might say currently wearing. With the seasons and just like what I'm, what is in heavy rotation, Lana will lay out for me with Grace and they'll decide like, okay, uh, this is what's in style right now. This is what she's liking right now. And if I'm honest, the stuff that's actually in my bedroom closet is stuff that I really rarely ever wear. It's normally like whatever's hanging on this rack that's new and current that I've just been rocking a lot lately will be on the rack and all the shoes that I'm currently wearing will be here. Currently, I am beyond obsessed with these shoots. I'm actually going to a dinner party tonight and I'm going to wear these with a pair of pants that are out for tailoring because the waist was too big on me, but they're by shoots and I'm obsessed. <sighs> they were collecting a little dust. They will be ready for tonight. So literally from picking my outfit to picking my shoes, the next thing is accessories. So this would be my accessory station. Again, whatever's in heavy rotation is normally out here. When we are packing, putting stuff together for travel, I am obsessed with these travel cases for jewelry. These were actually a gift from Poosh and Courtney. I love these, these are super cute. I'm gonna say, I think this one's completely full because this is what I took with me to New York. And this is like the stuff that I wear every day, yeah. It's like, Lana will pack this perfectly for me and this is how it comes home. Keeping it real. That's really sad. Rotate the, oh, the other one is in the drawer. Oh, please. Boom. 
reunited. Now we have a pair. Back in action, people. So that's like jewelry station. Clearly these are my everyday essentials. Chunky hoops, I've got on some gold pair now. I also am known for misplacing things or jewelry ending up in purses and then we find the jewelry like three months later when I wear that purse again. I have been looking for this. A rubber band? Tom Ford sunglasses? What the heck? This is like the lost and found. So just today I actually found these in a black pochette bag that I was wearing. But yeah, so that is jewelry section. And then from there, purses. Again, whatever is in heavy rotation is what's out currently. It's also going by seasonal. So these are La Voute bags, my bag company. So this is just currently like what I have in rotation. Yeah, I, I, these are like the basics for my everyday needs. So like today I definitely would throw, the, oh actually no, I, I might do this bag in back. Grab a bag, hold please for the purse. And now we'd grab glasses. I'm gonna go with the, uh, no I'm not. I am going to go with these. Do we feel this? Lana feels it from behind the door. Okay, yeah, so this would be my situation. I'd then do last looks. Okay, no seriously you guys, this is literally where I get dressed and ready. This is my glam room. It also has a bathroom over there. Another closet here that is completely a wreck. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing where I get dressed and ready, where I do all the glamming. If you guys love the skincare fridge and you wanna get it, make sure that you click the link in my description to head over to teamy.com. And guess what? We've got a discount code for you. All things to get 25% off of your very own skincare fridge. I love you guys and don't forget to subscribe. Besos.